What's up, guys? King Beamo TV here. We're gonna do another draft. Uh, you know, cons of Tarkir. Take a second, like the video. Really appreciate it. Subscribe if you like my content. Make a new draft video uh, almost every day. I think towards the end of the season, I do not every day. Maybe just uh, the weekdays. But thanks for watching, nonetheless. Uh, let's get into it. All right, we have a trail of mystery. I think this card's pretty good. You just like. I guess it's good for like five color morphs or something, right? Get all these basic lands, just be the morph deck. Is that a deck? I don't know. I think it's a fun build around card. I don't know if it's good. Um, I think the card's good, but like, do I just play five color morphs or build around with this? Uh, I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Let's try. Let's see what we get past. All right. Feeder resistance is good. Tap land is good. Treasure cruise is good. Uh, Hardened scales isn't very good. Um, I mean, treasure cruise is great, right? I just take treasure cruise here. Uh, definitely we'll take... Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how to build this deck. I don't, maybe I'm not... Uh, I don't know this format enough to build this deck. Uh, Dragon Eyes, Savants is good, but if we're going to end up being five colors, that's not what we want. So we'll take this. Uh, I guess we just take Mystic Monastery, right? We just... Oh, look at this pack. This is a really good Jeskai pack. Uh, three really nice spells here. This is also a Morph, right? Uh, it's a good one, too. I mean, if I'm going to be the five color morph deck, right, I need morph creatures and tap lands. So there's not going to be a ton of tri land options coming our way. But um, let's take the Mist, Mist Fire Weaver. Maybe we'll just get a bunch of blue cards and we'll just end up in, in Jeskai or Teamer or something. But um, yeah, this is going to be hard to do. I'm going to have a lot of, lot, of, lot of toughness on this one, mental toughness to not just take the uh, shiny cards. Death Frenzy's cool. This is the card that would beat my deck. Uh, but I think Glacial Stalker makes sense here, given it is a morph, and it's also a blue card, so it's on on theme so far for us. Um, I think it's totally fine. Uh, Death Frenzy certainly wouldn't be bad. Death Frenzy's probably really good on the play, right? Because a lot of morphs flip on five, so if you get their fifth land before your opponent, it could be pretty good. I like this own ancestor a lot too, but we'll take Glacial Stalker. Uh, you gain two life for each colorless creature you control. I mean, maybe that card could be cool. Win Scared Crag, Crag, Abzan Guide's really good. It's just three colors. We're not, so maybe I shouldn't take it. Whenever you. Whenever a face down creatures enter the battlefield under your control. So you play this, you get a mountain. Or you get a swamp, or you get a plains. Uh, yeah, let's take it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Just giving it a shot. Long shot squad is good. Archer's parapet is good. All right, no morphs here. Definitely got to take a tap land. We'll take a tap land here. Sultai Soothslayer is good. But... Morph. I think we'll take the morph. You know, we're building around Trail of Mystery. Like, we could just, like, not draw Trail of Mystery <laughs> ever, right? Uh, yeah, this probably isn't the best strategy, but we're, we'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. No morphs in this pack. Uh, weird removal spell. Sign of Glaciers is probably okay, right? Um, if we're not the five color uh, morph deck at least. I think we'll take the cove here. Seems pretty easy. Canyon Lurkers is a morph, but uh, we'll take the tap land here. We need some green tap lands. Any fun names? Don't panic 42. Unhappy Trails, that's a good one. Uh, Blossoming Sands, pretty easy I think. All right, we got four colors here. Uh, no red so far. That's okay, I think. Um, this is a morph, we'll take it. 
It's also on a color where you're already setting up for. What's the tutor that gets an enchantment card? It's one mana, puts an enchantment on top of your deck. Something tutor. It's like an old lady holding something like that. Uh, okay, we're not playing any of these. I'll take Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. I don't, I don't see that we're, uh, we'll play that, but I guess if you're going to be the morph deck, this could be pretty cool. But you also need, like, a lot of tap lands then. Polluted Delta, Jeskai Wind Scout, Throttle, Chief of the Scale... Is it Polluted Delta or is it Throttle? That's what I'm thinking. Uh, only one morph in the pack, which is pretty surprising. With Glacial Stalker. Polluted Delta or Throttle. I'm going to take the Polluted Delta. Uh, King Tree Invocation. This card's really good. Um, especially if we have an early two drop like uh, the parapet archer's parapet or you know even this this is an early but sage eyed harry or something with big old toughness like that savage punch is certainly not bad either but i think i'm going to take the uh, kin tree invocation here imagine we get another trail of mystery that would be nice that would be nice Abzan Charm is really good. Uh, yeah, Abzan Charm is really good. We'll take Abzan Charm. Uh, no morphs in the pack, and then just two tap lands. And they're both red, which right now are not red. I have no problem becoming red, but I want a good reason to be red. Like Arc Lightning or some nice bomby rare. Uh... I mean, this is really good, right? If I could play this on turn two, just as an 06, and then I play Ab um, Kintry Invocation. Uh, yeah, we'll take it, just for the upside there. Sultai Sooth Slayer, solid. Teamer's Charm, solid. We need more tap lands, I think. Or a second Trail of Mystery. Harmony Corp. Um, corpse. Ponyback Brigade, Throttle, Tapland. We have Abzan Guide for removal right now. I think I'll take Throttle. If the land was a different color, I'd probably take it. Skull Hunter, Force Away. Sagu Archer, Mardu Charm. Only the top part of Mardu Charm is good, I feel like. Chief of the Scale is really good, but not really us. Force Away, I guess. I guess Force Away. What does this do? Um, it's five mana if a player would, if a player would begin an extra turn. be put into the graveyard from the battlefield and sent exile it. This card would be really good in um, um, Wilds of Eldraine, right? You just There's a bargain target. It's just, I guess it's still Time Spiral, right? Not Time Spiral, Time Walk. Soothslayer, Sayer, Crippling Chill, Scout the Borders? I think Scout the Borders is probably pretty good, right? Because we'll need lands. Get more delve cards too. Just four colors so far. Another scout the borders, bit of revelation, long shot squad. One, two, three, four, five. We have 15 playables, eight creatures. Long shot squad, do we need it? Not necessarily. Uh, I'm gonna take bit of revelation. We got two morphs here, we'll take uh, Krumar, Harold and Krumar, uh, nothing good here. 
nothing good here. Uh, this card's fine, probably not going to play it though. I mean, Kill Shot's not the worst card to, to play. Uh, Mythic Rare. 5 mana, 7 2, haste, tax each combat, indestructible on your turn. When it's blocked, put a 1 1 counter on it. I mean, this card's pretty good. Secret Plans is really good too. I don't know. I'm going to play Secret Plans. We're building around morphs, right? So uh, let's play Secret Plans. So all our morphs, morphs are 2 3. When you flip a morph, draw a card. Uh, yeah, maybe we can get one more of those. It'd be great if we can get one more of those. If we get a Secret Plans, could use a Tri Land too. Lich Lord's okay. Abomination Godul is good. Uh, Dragon Eyes Savants wouldn't be the worst card to have another one of. I think I'll take the Abomination. Make sure we have plenty of morphs in our deck. Another Abzan Charm, which is great. Or Tranquil Co Quo Cove. We only have four tap lands right now. Absent Charm is really good though. Alright. We need some more lands. Non red tap lands. Or maybe an on color tri land. Sultai tri land. Or the Abzan tri land. All right, we got a tap line. I think we should just take it. Dead drop definitely isn't bad. <sighs> definitely not bad, especially because we'll we have some kind of um, scout the borders, fills the yard. We'll take the tap land here. I think. We're actually like hardly white too. We'll take that drop. We're hardly white. We're basically just Soul Tie. Uh, two good Soul Tie cards. I think I'll take the blue green one. I already have a Dismal Blackwater, so. Uh, yeah, wouldn't mind the Abzan Guide for sure, but we'll take the Thornwood Falls. One, two. Probably cut this, but. Three, four, five, six. 22 playables. Playables is a loose term with this deck for sure, but how many morphs do we have? What do we got in this pack? Uh, nothing. I have Horde Ambusher, but that could never flip. Mm, I'm going to take Crippling Chill. I'm not sure if I play it. We need more morphs. We don't have that many morphs. Parapet's really good. I guess we'll take Parapet. I don't think we have enough morphs. Morph, morph, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I guess eight isn't nothing, right? Let me get one more. This is nine, but I don't see us actually playing that as a morph. What does this do? That's cool. It's a cool card. Um, yeah, I'm going to just take the rare here. Come on, one more morph. One more playable morph. Is this good? Doesn't seem awful, but I don't think we're playing it. One more morph. Come on. No more. Alright, not as many morphs as we'd like. Not as much tap lands as we'd like. Somehow we failed every way we wanted to succeed. But I guess we're only Sultai, so that's not that bad. Um, Sultai, but we're definitely playing Abzan Guy. We're definitely playing Abzan Charm. So I guess we're not just Sultai. Um, hmm. All right, so we have essentially three white cards. One Plains, one Tranquil Cove, 
One Blossoming Sands. Can I afford to play another white card? Another Plains. I think I can. Alright, what cards don't really fit on, in our deck? Like, Parapet doesn't really fit in our deck, but casting Parapet with Trinky Kintry Invocation is pretty good. Looks like we'll have plenty of things to do on turn two. Kill shot's not amazing, especially we won't be that white. I want to play Scout the Borders. I want to play the Morphs. This isn't very good, but I think we should still play it because it's a Morph. Bitter Revelation feeds the yard. Scout the Borders feeds the yard, which makes Dead Drop and Treasure Cruise better. Do we play Shambling Attendance? 3-5 Death Touch. That seems pretty hard to kill. This is 18 lands. Should probably play 18 lands. Crippling Chill is good, but it doesn't really fit in our deck. I'll play the uh, Shambling Attendance. Alright, this is our deck. So we're mostly Sultai with a bit of white. 10, 11, 7. Alright, let's assume the mana base is good. This deck's a hot mess, but... You know, if we draw an early Secret Plans or an early Trail of Mystery, we might be okay. Wouldn't be surprised if we 0-3 with this deck, but at least I could say I tried it, so... And that's what matters, right? To have fun. I don't draft enough to be like, to grind top 50 Mythic every month. It's just not, it's not possible, so... I more or less play one draft a day. So um, it's hard to uh, to get high up there at ranked too. So in twelve oh eight. All right, we're missing our green, which is important for secret plans and the enchantment. But um, I mean, we definitely keep it. How many green sources do we have? Uh, another blue, we didn't need that. Green, we have Thornwood Falls, Blossoming Sands. We have six green sources. Mardu Airblade, Hateblade, sorry. I'm gonna say Airblade. Alright, need our green. Alright, let's play a morph this turn. Do we play Mistfire Weaver? I guess so. So this is three to untap, make one of your creatures gain Hexproof until end of turn. Oh, our opponent's mana base is pretty good. Uh, I'll trade with that. I don't want them to draw a card. Tap land, and then... Still, we don't have the green to flip over Abomination, so I think we'll play Krumar here. So getting rid of Hateblade isn't just a 1-1, one -one, it's Death Touch, so that could kill, you know, Shambling Attendance, so. Mantis is good. Bit of Revelation's good. Um, I think I'm going to... I kind of want to play land and see if they attack, if they block, but they won't. Or at least they shouldn't, right? Because I could flip and then trade. And then right now they have a 4-3 flyer. And whenever it hits me, they could draw a card. So we definitely want to kill that quick with Abzan Charm, so we need green for that. Let's play a bit of Revelation. Let's get some green. There's our green. Uh, green white. And then we'll take Throttle as well. That feeds the yards for Shambling Attendant. We'll just pass here. Bit of revelation. Okay. They discard two cards quick. 
All right, so we can Abzan and Charm. They didn't draw a card. That's bizarre, right? Uh, I think we kill that and we play another land, right? No, sorry, not a, another land, but yes, another land, but I meant another uh, morph. We could play Shambling Attendance here, right? Is that better? I think that's better. It's weird they didn't draw a card there, right? Like it's pay one life, they're at 18. Like, this is very fishy, obviously. Alright, so I'm gonna attack here. Alright, so I'm not gonna play anything. They're not playing anything. I'm not gonna play anything. They could take eight. I'll play a land and just pass. Take up arms. That's their big play. Okay. There is a wrath in this format. Wow, we just take six all of a sudden. Wow. Those two work good together, huh? We're attacking them for eight right now, so... Uh, I'm gonna get rid of our Abomination, because I'm gonna go for the kill this turn. So I'll have Throttle and Force away. I think we won. We got two two removal spells here. I think they just maybe punted. They have three mana, so... Yeah, we won. Awesome. could attack them for exactly eight. And then they swing back for nine and kill us. That is unfortunate. All right. <sighs> yeah, so even if I bounce their morphs, it's the same thing. They reveal the card in the hand, they gain the life. So, um... Alright, they're clogging up the ground. Parapet. Uh, I don't think we're dead on board, but it's close. One, two, three, four. Damn. So I don't know if we punted. The, the turn he played the... Um, take up arms, we could have played this as a 5-5. Five five. So then we'd have these three in play, this being untapped, and then playing these three creatures. So they probably don't attack then, because we have the 5-5 five five in play. So yeah, I think we still lose this game, unfortunately. Very close game, though. Super close game. That gaining, gaining two life was all they needed. Insect. Insect. Missing green again. Which is unfortunate, but better missing green than black right now, that's for sure. Ruthless Ripper. Looks like we're just going to play this face up next turn. Unless we draw a blue card. I'm going to discard Krumar here. 
morph. Just an 06 to block their 2 1. Take one, we get a 19. Disown Ancestor, okay. Bitter Revelation's good, but we need another land first. I'm gonna play the War Behemoth. The logic I play is I play the bad morph first given everything is equal. Uh, but this can also flip up if I don't have green. Raiders spoilers, okay. Um, hmm. Let's kill the Ruthless Ripper and then block here. We'll take one, make it draw a card. Fourth land. Let's get some green. There's our green. Not right away though. Parapet or Sagu Archer. Force Away doesn't seem great right now. Given they have a one drop and a two drop with an ETB ability. Um, I'm gonna take Parapet here. Okay, so some good card advantage for them. I wonder if they're just black-white. Black-white's the only two colors that I think you could play in this set, from, from my understanding. Wow, good rip. Good rip. All right, so we got Thornwood Falls into uh, Abzan Guide next turn. All right, we just got to survive a little longer here. Hands looking pretty juicy. Really don't want to chump lock with the morph. Okay, now I don't have to make that choice. A lot of card advantage here for them. It's hard to beat this kind of card advantage. Uh, that's a pretty good draw, right? So now we can play two black spells. So we can uh, Abzan Charm the Chief of the Edge and block the other two. I'm going to cast this before blockers. Okay, they don't have any instants. That's nice. They don't draw any extra cards at this turn. Mm, that's rough. Hope they don't have another one. All right, we'll Abzan Charm the Flyer. They're all, all warriors too. Nice deck this guy has for sure. Very nice deck. Uh, it's a little bit too good for the old one bracket, I think. Putting two one counters, this is actually, this might be better. I'm going to take five here. I guess I'm like essentially dead. If I put one one counters on each of these, I kill both the Skull Hunters, but I'm taking five and I go to four and they have a four three flyer in play. Uh... Hmm. Maybe I should have done that last, last turn. Instead of killing the Chief of the Edge, we just did these counters. Maybe. 
Yep. I mean, yeah, they just keep drawing. They're playing a creature every single turn because they're card advantage. Yeah, we can't win. Ah, uh, man. That's too bad. Yeah, I mean, that's a very good deck to be playing, I think, in the 0-1 bracket. Ecope. I hope they matched us with somebody as bad as uh as bad as us. Uh, okay. We got we have all three colors for the first time. Excellent, fun. We still don't have any of our build around enchantments yet, which is a bummer. But let's get a win. I have an O3 yet in this format. I don't want today to be the day O3 though. Oh, so we got to turn three, scout the borders or a misfire weaver. Depends on what land we draw, if we draw land. Okay, I think that's good. Put a creature or land from among them into your hand. Or do we play Misfire Weaver? Uh, let's play Misfire Weaver here. They have a 1-1, one -one, so now we have a blocker. Now they can't raid as easily as they'd like. So they can regenerate, they can do some sort of combat trick. They can't give plus one plus one counter and protection from a color. They're gonna play the Mardu. Yeah, see that was a good block, right? Well, what do we get rid of here? Um, hmm. I need black big time, so I can't get rid of Polluted Delta. Guess we get rid of Scout the Borders here. There's the black. Uh, which Bitter Revelation was an instant, huh? 3-1, uh, Flyer's really good, so let's, whatever, let's cast Bitter Revelation. There they are, one of our build around cards. Uh, we're going to attack here, and you know why we're going to attack here? Because we're not going to block if they attack, so. So next turn we play Trail of Mystery, and then we play a Morph, and then we get a basic land to put it in our hand. Pretty good. Uh, all right, I'm going to get rid of Dead Drop. It's very good, but... You know, right now they're the white black kind of weenie deck, right? So. Alright, let's play Trail of Mystery. Play a morph. Get a basic land. Uh, I think it's forest. And again, attack, same logic. We don't want to flip it over, so, I mean, we don't want to block. Shambling attendance costs three if we exile our graveyard right now. Fourteen is still plenty of health. God. Alright. Not the worst thing. All right, we can play Shambling Attendance for one, and then we'll have... Uh, hmm. We could flip this now, and then loot. There's no way they have another discard card, right? This was a swamp would be a lot better, right? Alright, let's attack for four. We'll play Dismal Blackwater. We'll have mana open for that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could have left um, one card in there, actually, and tapped one more mana. 
but I think I'd be kind of showing them what this, they'd, I'd be indicating to them that my morph costs three, and I don't want to do that. They could know the format very well, so, uh, okay, they can't do that yet, they don't have blue. All right, so when this, when I flip up a morph, creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn, right? Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to flip this guy up and swing in for five. Now we get to loot. We'll get rid of the swamp. Next turn we'll play Sagu Archer face down. Then we'll have three mana up to flip the Misfire Weaver. I'll take four. That's awkward, right? All right. That's fine. All right, they have a 5-5. Five, five. Six. Three, four, five. We can't play everything in our hand. We could play one card if we want to be able to flip up our morph. All right, enough with the time. I think we just morph Saga Archer here. We get a forest again. All right, I'm going to play the forest and just pass here. It's a tricky play. I'm going to take the five from the smoke teller if they attack. This is five to flip. Interesting. All right, so I'll block here. I'll take five. See a removal spell here. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, so man is perfect here at least. Make a 4-4. Four, four. So now we could double block their smoke teller, and we have a 3-4 for their 3-3. Three, three. We have a 3-4 for their 3-3 three, three flyer. And if they have a removal spell, we can counter it with a morph creature. So we're in pretty good shape, I think. It'd be a pretty ballsy attack on their end if they do attack. Okay. Treasure cruise cost four. That's perfect. One, two, three, four. All right, we have Absan Charm mana up. Uh, yeah, we're in good shape. We'll just pass here. Uh, end of turn, we'll see what they do, but I think we I think we got this now. Feeling pretty good. All right, so I think we kill the. I think we kill the five five. This 
still no instance that responded right away. All right, I'm going to attack with the... I guess I'll... I could play it pretty safe here, right? I'll just attack with the 4-4. Play a morph. Get a land. All right, we could flip up either of these, which is great. So if they don't do anything, we'll flip up the Abzan guide. I think we got this game. Removal spell doesn't do anything for them. Yeah, that's GG, I think. Four mana, five, four flying. Sacrifice another creature. It gains your choice of vigilance, life link, or haste until the end of next turn. Okay. So, yeah, I think they're dead on board, right? We kill this. We attack with everything here. They block there. They take three, six, seven, eight. We flip this over. They're dead. Cool. We got a win. Yay. Let's get some more. Slap shot. Slap shot. Alright, we have our Abzan colors. Missing blue. That's okay. I think. I think it's okay. How many blue sources do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five blue sources. Alright, we got it. Uh, I don't think we scout the borders yet. I think we'll play our Abzan color and then play a morph. So they'll think it's the Abzan guide when it's actually the Soul Tide morph. All right, they've cancel mana up now. All right, let's attack here. If they block, we'll put we'll put the charm on it. Cool. Ifrit Weapon Master, so they're likely Jeskai. Uh-oh, I think we're going to get destroyed target attacking creature here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is... Maybe they don't, maybe they have nothing. They just missed a land drop, right? I don't think they have anything. There's a, oh, there was a pause there. All right. Fine. Uh, oh, they see it. Okay. Awkward. Awkward. And these are really good five cards. Awkward. Another land drop in this, huh? Uh, Trail of Mystery is good. Play a morph. Who knows what it'll be? Uh, I'll get a swamp. But I'll play Tranquil Cove. Should be in full control here to bluff that one of these morphs is one of the, uh, the free flips. Um, yeah, we can attack pretty safely here. Um, I think I'll just attack with the 4-4. Four, four. All right. Ouch. Draw. Uh, we'll discard Island. We'll play Forest. Secret Plans. Now my Morse 2-3. Cancel. 
Alright. Pretty far ahead. Shambling attendance costs one. Nice! Quick win. Quick win. Guess it helps when your opponent's mana screwed. Gaia 0127. We got a top 50 mythic player. Time to crush. Alright, we got all our colors. Cool. Just a bunch of tap lands. Alright. You know my logic, guys. Play the bad more first. Looks like they're teamer or teamer color so far. Attack for two. Alright, let's play Bitter Revelation. Could use a fifth land. We have double black, we have double white, we have one green and one blue. Ouch! Alright. Alright, fine. Let's get a land off the top, huh? Or one of our enchantments. Alright, we'll attack. Forgot what this was. Oh yeah, okay. Alright, let's pump it up. Okay, one five bird, oh five. Alright. Alright, they are Bit Jess guy, we need another land, guys. Going into full control. I want them to think that this is a morph I can flip over. My bluff does not pay off. They all cost five. I think I'd rather the 5-3 so I could flip that. Trade into the monastery. Not trade into the monastery flock, but kill the monastery flock. I think we're playing 18 lands in this deck. Sure, let's take two. One, two, three, six, ten. We are playing 18 lands. Come on! Alright, play another morph. Uh, do we attack with all of our morphs first? I think we do. Doesn't have flying, so we want to make sure we pass quickly so they don't know that this is the uh, zero mana flip card. Okay, what do you got? What do you got? Gaia, Gaia, whatever. Ugh. What were they thinking about? Pump spell? Just guy wind scout? What happened? This guy was playing fast before. 52% chance to draw land here. And then we can flip any of our cards? Yes, any of our cards. Yo, what's going on, man? I think they're really thinking this hard, or do they just go make themselves a snack? Oh, is it snack time already? All 
I mean, it's got to be close to timeout time, right? Is it me? That took so long. Hey, fifth land. What do we even do now? So much things we could do. Uh, let's attack. I'm sure they'll continue to block the same way. Sure. I think I'm going to throttle the Mystic of the Hidden Way. Hopefully not get too blown out. They could have that three mana counter spell, the teamer counter spell. No, isn't that that's like a remove soul, right? For an essence scatter? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, that's what they were considering last turn. Alright, we'll go to 11. Want to get Abzan Guide out there soon. Start gaining some life. I would like to know what they have in their hands, so I might flip this, this guy soon. The uh, Dragon Eye Savant. Sagu Archer would be a 4-7. So that wouldn't hurt to flip that one up either. So maybe I just don't attack next turn. Hmm. Five is a lot to flip though, right? So I'd have to basically just like pass. Just draw go. That's not great. We have a decent amount of removal, right? We still have two. We have one Abzan Charm, sorry. One Abzan Charm. Dead Drop, which I think we can cast. Uh, we cannot cast Red Dead Drop. Not yet, at least. Force Away would work. This my guy's taking a long time, huh? Oh, this is pretty good. Gain three health. Three mana, gain three health. It's not bad at all. Well, now that they have a morph, I could be like afraid to attack and then not attack and just play Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. So they'll think my plan is just to gain some life and then potentially flip over one of these morphs. So yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'll just pass. So my plan will be to flip my Sagu Archer and block his Jeskai Wind Scout. But I can flip my 2-2, two -two, my, my 06, so I have more information to see if I'm going to get blown out by that block, right? All right, what do you got, friend? Six mana up. Now my Tomb of the Spirit Dragon only makes me gain two health. Jeskai Charm. Four damage to target opponent or Planeswalker. Creatures you control get plus one plus one and lifelink until end of turn. So plus one plus one and lifelink makes this a six five. So that's why we looked at their hand, guys. That's why we do things. Um, yeah, so we really have to play around that. So we can't kill that right now. So we'll take four. Getting a bit low on health, but we'll gain two here. Or do we make this a five, three? Probably make this a five, three, right? <laughs> okay, so we know that's the Ifrit, which is five to flip. So they're leaving up their charm mana, which makes sense. So they're going to go for the kill next turn. So this, four damage target opponent or planeswalker. Put our creature on top of his owner's library. So 
One, two, three, four, five. If they draw a land next turn, they could bounce this and flip this, which would kill us. So let's flip this. Oh, that's a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's pretty good. But is it enough? No, but we can gain we can gain one life here. So tricky, tricky, tricky. All right, we we'll play our seven seven, and then we can gain one life. Not great. I mean, seven seven is great, right? Don't get me wrong. No, I think I made a mistake, right? So I think I I think I thought Sagu Archer would die if I blocked Jeskai Wind Scout next turn. So I definitely made a mistake. That doesn't seem like the best play. Cause now they'll attack for five, they'll attack for seven, but I can gain one life. So, um, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, I, I should have blocked there. I, my math was wrong. I didn't realize it'd be a seven mana toughness. So, so my land will make me gain one life. So I'll go to one. Okay. Are we just dead? All right, we're still fighting here. But we're at one, so we're going to play Saga Archer. Pretty simple. Just pass. We can't attack or anything. We have to hope there's a removal spell for Jeskai Wind Scout on top. Not great, though. Yeah, I missed a block. I think I should have more health. That was a mistake. They may have bounced it then. But then I would have played it earlier, and I could have blocked it, like, last turn, for example. So that, that was a mistake on my part, for sure. Not thrilled about that one. Wow. Great news. Great news. Abzan Guide costs six... we play it as a morph we could then gain two life gaining two life doesn't seem super helpful but then next turn it would cost five um, I guess we'll just play it tapped they don't know it's Abzan guide right they probably think it's glacial stalker so we can gain two life now and we have a blocker. Will they flip over one of their weapon masters now? The other weapon master? No? Okay, great. Alright, we'll gain some life. I guess they're a bit flooded. Uh, attacking with the 4-4 is not profitable right now. Do I just play Glacial Stalker and just keep doing this gain, gain a bunch of life thing? They don't have black, so I don't think there's any reason to hold cards in my hand. No, Force Away makes me um, loot. 
Abomination makes me loop. So I guess we hold on to the land. I mean, so one of these morphs is Ifrit Weapon Master. Almost definitely. But the other one I mean, could be anything. Alright, a lot of morphs here. Alright, up to six. Hmm. Do we play Shambling Tenants on four? Three, five death touch is good. But we still can't attack. We attack with our six six. We could block here, flip the other if Ifrit, and then give this so this would be a seven three first strike. So there's really just no attacks. We're just totally log jammed right now. Uh, dead drop mm, would help us a little bit. Really, I think we need flyers. We need Abomination of Godul. Asban Charm. Misfire Weaver would be great. Gaining three life every turn helps, that's for sure. Well, they deck before we do. Another morph. Okay. They still have one card in their hand, which I'm going to assume is a land. Oh, fun game. Okay, that's a good one. So that we can can't gain three life every turn now because we're going to be losing three life every turn. There's quite a few cards we'd like to draw here. Sure. Mm, polluted Delta is probably fine, right? It's one less land in our deck now. Yeah, we don't really have any bombs in our deck. Uh-oh. Alright, so they can kill Saga Archer here. That's what they're telling me. Which is unfortunate. Um, they have 10 mana up. So they can, in theory, flip two Weapon Masters to kill me with Jeskai Wind Scout. But I can gain life in response. So I am not going to block it here because we have no trick, right? If they have any trick, we just lose. Oh, 
that's not good. Not good. Way too many lands here. 12 lands in play. Two more than our opponent. Uh, we have to block here now. Given they have anything in addition to Ifrit Weapon Master. So I assume they'll flip one of the Ifrit Weapon Masters or they just have any non-creature spell here. So pretty easy for us to, for them to kill Saga Archer. Force away their own Weapon Master. Okay. Now they loot. Mm -hmm. So now we're we're dead next turn, I think. Given we draw another land, which is probably a given. We'll probably draw another Saga Archer. Oh, God, we're at like, what were we at, 75%? We're at 76% to draw a land there. We're going to gain 3 health again, we go to 11. Alright, we're not dead unless they have... No, I mean they're dead, they're going to pump Jeskai Wind Scout twice. Uh, I think we have to attack. We'll attack with Abzan Guide. So that'll force them to have to use the Ifrit now, if they want to kill this before I gain life. So th that could just be any freet, which is fine, right? Well, our Abzan guide will still die, but then they can't use it next turn. So let's gain some life. And then we'll flip it. So e free, not e free. Okay. I mean, we gained some life now, though, so we're still alive. Yeah. So I definitely messed up. I think with that Sagu Archer early on. Uh, ultimately, I don't think it made a difference in the long version of this game that it became. But I do think I messed up there. I don't think we can come back from this. We need to draw like treasure treasure crews into like a bunch of heaters right away. Weapon master, sure. Uh-huh. That's 10. All right, we're at 5. No, a little late to the party on that one. One, two, three, four. Guess I could have played the land in my hand, right? Yeah, really, I mean, we're dead. We're dead on board. Uh, all right, we just, I, I did make that one mistake, but we, we got flooded at the end of the game. So, unfortunate, unfortunate. So, I'm glad we got to use our enchantments once at least. So, um, this deck's probably a 2-3 deck, right? We had no real bomby cards. So, uh, 
I'm glad I got to try it. And I think maybe I would have drafted better if I just realized I was just Sultai earlier. Um, although I don't know what much of a difference it would have taken, really. Like, maybe I took Tranquil Cove and Blossoming Sands over something more playable in Sultai. Um, even, like, we saw a few of the, the five mana, the Sultai and two... 2-5 uncommons that um, you look at the top cards and you pick one and you mill the rest, whatever. Those are pretty good, so we would have ended up with a few of those, I think. So I don't think we drafted perfect. We did misplay that one block, but um, I think this is a 2-3 deck. So um, hope you guys like the video. Feel free to leave any comments. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. You guys know the jazz, so thanks for watching. Um, catch you in the next one.